Hello friends, today I am Anish Kumar Arma has came up with a new video which is regarding the very important subject as far as the BCom final year has been concerned. The name of this subject is auditing. Today I am going to discuss a very important chapter of auditing which is named to be liability of company auditor. What are the liabilities of company auditor? We are going to discuss in this video. I have prepared a lots of video and posted on my channel. You just go on to my channel and check all the videos which are related all the subjects of BCom. So now I'm going to start my this video which is regarding liability of company auditor. Look, all the liability decisions are take are done by the court. All the liability decisions are done by court. If in case auditor doesn't do his duty, if in case the auditor doesn't do his duty in in an efficient way in a well way then two liabilities are made upon him what are those two liabilities first is civil liability and second is criminal liability agar hum civil liability ki baat kare to agar company iska matlab hota hai ki agar company ko lagta hai ki auditor ne apna kaam effective way mein nahi kiya sahi tarike se nahi kiya jiske karan company ko loss uthana pada तो कंपनी कोर्ट में जाके ऑडिटर से कंपनसेशन की डिमांड करेगी और यदि हम अगर मोटे मोटे तौर पे अगर हम क्रिमिनल लाइबिलिटीज की बात करें तो इसका मतलब होता है कि कंपनसेशन और हर्जाना तो देना पड़ेगा ही साथ ही साथ सजा भी होगी ऑडिटर को जैसे ऑडिटर को साथ ही साथ उसे सजा भी होगी जैसे इम्प्रिजनमेंट जैसे कि जेल यह तब होगा जब ऑडिटर ट्राई टू डू फ्रॉड्स ट्राई टू डू ट्विस्ट इन अकाउंट्स और कोर्ट में यह बातें अगर साबित हो गई तो इम्प्रिजनमेंट भी होगा मतलब सज़ा तो हो गई प्लस उसके साथ साथ ऑडिटर को कुछ अमाउंट एज इन सेंस ऑफ पेनाल्टी भी पेमेंट करना पड़ेगा तो ये बात होगी मेरी क्रिमिनल लाइबिलिटी और सिविल लाइबिलिटी की एक डेफिनेशंस के तौर पे नेक्स्ट अगर हम बात करें लाइबिलिटी अंडर कॉमन लॉ लाइबिलिटी ऑफ ऑडिटर अंडर द कॉमन लॉ इसमें पहला आ जाता है सिविल लाइबिलिटी फॉर नेग्लिजेंस सिविल लाइबिलिटी फॉर नेग्लिजेंस इसका मतलब होता है कि काम किया ऑडिटर ने काम किया पर लापरवाही की सीरियसली नहीं किया और यह बात अगर शेयर होल्डर ने साबित कर दी कोर्ट में तो कोर्ट विल आस्क टू गिव कंपनसेशन इस सिविल लाइबिलिटी फॉर नेग्लिजेंस में पहली लाइबिलिटी के तौर पे आ जाता है नॉट टू गो थ्रू आर्टिकल ऑफ एसोसिएशन ऑफ कंपनी एंड नॉट टू रेज ऑब्जेक्शन इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डिविडेंड आउट ऑफ कैपिटल इस नेग्लिजेंस यहाँ पे नेग्लिजेंस का मीनिंग है लापरवाही इसका मतलब हुआ कि आर्टिकल ऑफ एसोसिएशन के हिसाब से काम हुआ है या नहीं इट इज़ डन अकॉर्डिंग टू कंपनीज एक्ट और नॉट whether not distributed profit from capital or it has been distributed from somewhere else or what so these kind of things is been checked in the sense of as far as this civil liability negligence is been concern of okay next comes not to detect error or frauds is negligence for this work only auditor is appointed for this work only the auditor is appointed and if this work is done in negligence way so all the shareholder can go to the court and demand for compensation if their interest is violated okay so this is the explanation for not to detect error and or fraud is negligence next comes not to verify petty cash book is negligence not to verify petty cash book is negligence it means if an auditor does not looks petty cash book so affected party can go to the court against that auditor if any fraud detected after the full audition is been done after the full auditing has been done if any kind of fraud is detected under petty cash book then the party which is been affected by this can go the against the auditor who has done this mistake next is not to make complete examination of bad debt and its reserves is negligence it means bad debt and reserves of doubtful debt are done from profit so if in case by mistake if in the bad debt things are gone which are actually not bad debts so profit will decrease so shareholder can go to the court on the basis of that auditor has not checked properly the area of doubtful debt or if we can say the area of bad debt okay next comes not to perform the work effectively and carefully is negligence 
not to perform the work effectively and efficiently is negligence it means if auditor does not perform his duty effectively and carefully then affected party if it proves that in court that the auditor does not perform the his duty effectively and carefully so it is that kind of a negligence next comes in absence of doubtful situation to verify the certificate of trustworthy officers is not negligence it means in the case of kings and cotton mills i have discussed this case in my pre in my lots of videos in my previous video or actually and uh, the name of this video is auditor is a watchdog not a bloodhound in that video i have discussed the full case of kingston cotton mills that i am taking uh, that i am giving the reference of that case also at this point of time so in the case of kingston and cotton mills case the judge says that auditor does not done the stock verification but rather he has taken a certificate from the company that stock verifications are correct so justice says that an auditor is a watchdog not a bloodhound so if verified by the company officer so it is a not negligence done next comes to verify with full confidence in internal management of company is negligence it means an auditor work after defending on full oriented management okay an auditor work after depending on full on internal management agar auditor apna pura kaam internal management ke upar depend karke karta hai therefore external auditor made report based on internal auditor report he assumes that internal auditor has or will have been done his work after the verifications of company's books of account okay next comes civil liability for misfeasance इसका मतलब हुआ कि जो ऑडिटर है अगर उसने अपना काम ठीक से नहीं किया तो वो लाइबल ठहराया जाएगा तो जो लाइबिलिटी उसे होगी उसे कोर्ट डिसाइड करेगा और उसे और उस ऑडिटर को वो चीज़ माननी पड़ेगी इस सेक्शन में सिविल लाइबिलिटी फॉर मिस फैसेंस में कौन कौन सी ऐसे कारण आ सकते हैं जिसके वजह से ये सिविल लाइबिलिटी फॉर मिस फैसेंस कहलाएगा इसमें पहला है नॉट टू गिव करेक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द बैलेंस शीट इसका मतलब जो ऑडिटर रिपोर्ट तैयार करता है उसे उसे उस पर कुछ कमेंट्स करने पड़ते हैं यानी कि उसे उसके बैलेंस शीट्स पे कमेंट्स करने पड़ते हैं फाइनल अकाउंट्स पे कमेंट्स करने पड़ते हैं अगर वो कमेंट नहीं करता है तो शेयर होल्डर कैन गो टू द कोर्ट अगेंस्ट द ऑडिटर ओके नेक्स्ट इज फिजिकल वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ स्टॉक इट्स रिटर्न स्टिक बाई मिस्टेक बट इट इज स्टॉक फिजिकल वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ स्टॉक इज नॉट द ड्यूटी ऑफ ऑडिटर इट मीन्स फॉर फिजिकल वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ स्टॉक इट इज़ नॉट नीडेड दैट ऑडिटर कैन कैन प्रोसीड इट इज नॉट नीडेड दैट ऑडिटर शुड डू द फिजिकल वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ स्टॉक बाई आस्किंग द डिटेल ऑफ द स्टॉक फ्रॉम द स्टॉक मैनेजर court cannot blame the auditor if he has just written the data or he have just audited the data by asking the details of stock uh, with the stock manager then also is this correct to do so okay nobody can offense it that uh, auditor is that there is a mistake of auditor that they had not checked the physical verification of stock it's not like that audit it is upon auditor that he is checking that is stock by physical verifications or not next is not to examine uh, for the errors of employers clerk auditor is not liable it means if account of company are not made in perfect way by the clerks then auditor is not liable for that next is not to examine the payment properly it means the payment done by the legal authority or not means sanctioned by the higher authority or not after checking all these things he is not liable but if he is not checked this then auditor is liable for it not to un- not to understand doubtful debt it means if an auditor have any doubt then he should understand that thing in a perfect way if he is not understanding that thing in a perfect way then auditor is liable for that next is for disorderly in bank fund for disorderly in bank funds if the bank fund are wrongly certified so it will be liability of company there will be the no liability of auditor if director does not put or show the audit reports to shareholder this is one line which needs to be taken into consideration that there will be no liability of auditor if the director does not put or does not Uh, put the report in front of shareholder which is given by the auditor so there is no liability of auditor he has the liability of director only next i am going to talk about the liability under companies act 2013 under this the first is civil liability for misstatement in prospectus 
under this which means look civil liability for misstatement in prospectus comes under section 365 it means when an auditor sees the prospectus and found that it is wrong but he ignores it and approve it then he has to come under liability under this the first is for misstatement in prospectus in this the first liability is liability under section 147 sub section 2 इसका मतलब हुआ कि इट इंक्लूड्स सेक्शन 139, 143, 144 एंड 145 मींस द लाइबिलिटी अंडर सेक्शन 147 फोर्टी सब सेक्शन टू मींस इट इंक्लूड्स सेक्शन 139, 143, 144 एंड 145 मींस इट सेज इन दिस सेक्शन इट इज सेड दैट इफ फाउंड दैट इट वाज ऑडिटर्स लाइबिलिटी देन अ पेनाल्टी ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी टू रुपीज आर मैंशन इन दोज सेक्शंस डन नेक्स्ट इज लाइबिलिटी अंडर सेक्शन 143 फोर्टी थ्री सब सेक्शन थ्री इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स द सेक्शन वन फोर्टी सेवन सब सेक्शन टू विच सेज इफ अंडर द अब सेक्शन इफ अंडर द अब सेक्शन इट इज फाउंड द ऑडिटर इज फाउंड टू बी कल्प्रेट दैन सैलरी रिसीव बाई हिम शुड बी रिटर्न एंड इफ इन केस कंपनी गेट एनी डिस्ट्रक्शन देन दैट पेनाल्टी ऑफ कॉस्ट शुड ऑल्सो बी गिवन बाई हिम ऑल्सो ओके नेक्स्ट कम्स फॉर फेलियर इन प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट एंड एविडेंस it comes under section 217 which says if central government appoints anybody to investigate for a company if an auditor gets any news regarding the exploitations of employees so auditor has duty to investigate it and during the investigations done by the investigator auditor is not helping then auditor can get imprisonment of 1 year as well as the penalty of rupees 1 lakh next is nclt एन सी एल टी द्वारा कंपनी को समन जारी करने का अधिकार होता है समन मीन्स एस सी डबल एम ओ एन एन सी एल टी फुल फॉर्म इज नेशनल कंपनी लॉ ट्रिब्यूनल अंडर दिस इट इज सेट दैट समटाइम्स इफ ऑडिटर टेक कंपनीज डॉक्यूमेंट टू हिज होम एंड नॉट रिटर्न इट एंड नॉट रिटर्न इट देन बाई एन सी एल टी समन कैन बी इम्पोज एंड ऑडिटर कैन बी arrested for this so auditor cannot take the documents of the company related information at home he can take for just uh, analyzing it but he has to return it also next is prosecution prosecutions of the officers and members of the company it's it comes under section 342 note the section which i am seeing on which i am speaking upon this prosecutions of officers and members of company says if companies officers and the members violate any rules and regulation then a prosecutions can be ruled over them if any employees any officer any members comes in criminal act so nclt can rule over him next is to motivate a person for investment by frauds it comes under section 36 it says sometimes we convince the auditor to present the good financial position to motivate the investor but in reality it is not like that next is criminal liabilities criminal liabilities under this the first liabilities according to indian penal code under ipc act it says that if an auditor does the fraud or twists the books of accounts and says correct to the wrong document and destroys assets then he comes under ipc act of criminal liability next is for misstatement of prospectus it comes under section 34 which says if given wrong information in the prospectus and if not corrected it an auditor also ignores take then he can come under criminal liability and get the imprisonment of 6 to 10 month next is for making false statement it says that if our balance sheet if our income statements are prepared in a wrong way but auditor says that it is the correct so he can bear the imprisonment and judge will decide the number of years for his imprisonment this is the fact of the matter as far as the civil and criminal liability has been concerned next i am going to speak upon other liability there are some other liability which should be taken into consideration under this the first is liability to third party in liability to third party the first is liability for fraud it means if according to the accounts frauds are there and auditor not pointed it so the debentures holder the financial institution can file a case against the auditor in the court next is moral liability by audit report several party gets motivated so it should be correct it is the moral duty to make it correct if it is not done then any person of society can go to the court against that auditor 
नेक्स्ट इज लाइबल टू हिज एम्प्लॉयज ऑडिटर अपॉइंट्स ऑडिटर अपॉइंट्स ऑडिटर क्लर्क्स सो ही शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड रिक्वायर्ड पेमेंट बाई द ऑडिटर एंड सॉल्व हीज और हर प्रॉब्लम्स नेक्स्ट इज लाइबल टू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट एन ऑडिटर शुड फॉलो द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट इफ ही इज नॉट फॉलोइंग देन ही इज लाइबल नेक्स्ट इज नॉट लाइबल टू नेग्लिजेंस विच सेज इफ एन ऑडिटर डन वर्क विद नेग्लिजेंस ऑफ थर्ड पार्टी देन ही हैज़ नो लेबिलिटी अगेंस्ट द थर्ड पार्टी इफ इट गेट्स लॉस बट इफ फ्रॉड्स नॉट डिटेक्टेड देन पार्टी कैन गो टू द कोर्ट नेक्स्ट इज नॉट लाइबल फॉर अनलॉफुल एक्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयर विच सेज इफ एन एम्प्लॉयर डज अनलॉफुल एक्ट सो ऑडिटर इज नॉट लेबल बिकॉज इफ इट इज नॉट इफ नॉट डिटेक्टेड बिकॉज इफ इज इफ इज ओनली लेबल फॉर ऑथोराइज वर्क नॉट फॉर एन अनऑथोराइज वर्क नेक्स्ट इज लाइबिलिटी ऑफ एन ऑनरेरी ऑडिटर विच सेज इसका मतलब हुआ कि बिना पारिश्रमिक दिए गए नियुक्त ऑडिटर के दायित्व अगर उसको हम रेमोनरेशन नहीं दे रहे हैं तब उसका क्या लाइबिलिटी होगा सो इट सेज दैट इफ एन ऑडिटर डज वर्क विदाउट फीस एंड इफ फ्रॉड हैपन्स सो ही कान से दैट आई हैव नॉट टेकन माई फीस सो आई हैव नो लाइबिलिटी रैदर ही हैज़ द लाइबिलिटी ऑफ दैट वर्क लाइक एन ऑर्डिनरी रेमोनरेटेड ऑडिटर एट लास्ट इट इज लाइबिलिटी फॉर द नेग्लिजेंस ऑफ असिस्टेंट इसका मतलब सहायकों की लापरवाही के लिए लाइबिलिटी क्या होगी विच सेज फॉर ऑडिटिंग एन ऑडिटर कीप्स ओन क्लर्क सो दैट क्लर्क गोज एंड डज ऑडिटिंग ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ दैट ऑडिटर बट सिग्नेचर्स डन बाई द मेन ऑडिटर सो इफ द क्लर्क डज एनी काइंड ऑफ फ्रॉड सो मेन ऑडिटर वील बी लाइबल बिकॉज वी कैन टेक हेल्प बट नॉट ट्रांसफर्स टू असिस्टेंट so these are the cases in which i have discussed each and every kind of point of liabilities of auditor so you can take a view that what i have taught you in front of you the notes are also there and explanations of each and every kind of point is been spoken by me if you have any kind of doubt you can just come ask in the comment section i will surely for sure reply you in within 24 hours and uh, this is the full details as far as the liability of companies auditor is been concern of so thank you do like share and comment your views and doubts in the comment section of this video and do subscribe my channel manish kumar one my important topics to get all important lectures regarding bcom thank you